Well, we continue our team coverage, not only wanting to hear from politicians, but we all wanted to hear from y'all as well. That's right. Fox 51's Avery Klanowski is here now to tell us what East Texas voters have to say about the president's decision. Avery, what do you have? Tyler, Annabelle, after talking with voters in Tyler, we learned there's a common theme. East Texans are concerned for his health and his ability to run our country for another four years. I think they did the American people favor by dropping down. Sunday, President Joe Biden shared his decision that he would not be accepting the Democratic nomination for the upcoming presidential race. I'm glad that Biden stepped down because I don't feel like he was capable of running our country. I mean, that, that's been evidence of the last couple, really, last, last year has really been bad. East Texans are mostly concerned about his well-being. You can got two eyes. You can see with your own eyes that he was in decline. He was definitely too old and I'm hoping that he can live out the rest of his days comfortably. The man needs to, to go and relax and enjoy these last few years. You know, I think it was kind of cruel of him staying in as long as he did. In his announcement, President Biden endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris to be the next Democratic nominee. But voters know it's not a done deal yet. Depends on who is going up against him. You know, Michelle Obama will probably be a big ticket. I really don't see the American people voting for Kamala Harris. No matter who ends up at the top of the ticket, the final decision will be made in a few months at the ballot box. This is people's livelihood that we're talking about, not not a Republican or Democrat. We're talking about people's lives, in my opinion. But especially praying for peace and unity in this presidential race. And hopefully then the, the upcoming election can go well and not have any more incidents. The Democratic National Convention is next month in Chicago. Election Day is set for November 5th of this year. In studio, Avery Klanowski, back to you guys.